brought to you by the Nerd Element. Hey guys, Antonio here from the Nerd Element, and Kim wanted me to do a review on the movie Zootopia. Now, I gotta say, this is gonna be full of spoiler spoilers. You know, it's the movie's that deep, guys. I absolutely loved loved this movie from like the bottom of my heart. It's it's great. It's great. So getting into it the movie revolves around two characters but mostly just judy hops who has dream who's a rapper who has dreams of being a police officer now the thing about that is it's not really known that small rabbits can be police officers it's usually led up to like the bigger animals like rhinos or you know bigger predators like lions and what not but you know it's her dream to always be a police officer so you know she makes it through the academy she's you know top top of her class and she moves out to Zootopia to you know get her assignment now back in the past she had a run-in with uh, a fox named Gideon who you know scratched her up a little bit when she was trying to you know help her friends out but she didn't let that phase her, but, you know, her parents were always saying, don't trust foxes. So, she gets to Zootopia, you know, she's loving it, loving it. Gets her first assignment where she's placed on being a meter maid of all things. She wants to do more and help find the 14 missing mammals that have, you know, gone missing. So, during her... You know, she's very enthusiastic about the meter maid thing, you know, to the point where she accomplishes her goal. <laughs> she actually ends up giving herself a ticket. But, um, so she meets this fox named Nick Wilde and his son. And, you know, his son's dressed up as an elephant. They're trying to get, you know, some ice cream, but, um, the elephants don't trust them because nobody trusts his foxes because they're all sly and cunning and con artists, you know. The movie does play a really big part on, you know, discrimination and stereotypes and all that. It's one of the one things I liked about the movie. So, Judy helps them out, you know, gives them the pop, right? Eventually, she finds out that the kid is driving but he's not actually a kid and they use the big popsicle they got from the elephant place to make smaller popsicles that they can make cash on and Judy catches him in the act and pretty much Nick replies well that's what you call a hustle sweetie he pretty much just goes in, just like goes in, like rips her like apart and then just walks away. It's kind of messed up, but I was kind I was kind of loving it. This is how deep the movie is. So she does get a little, you know, depressed and whatnot, but she thinks, you know, nothing of it she's gonna go out and you know do some stuff so she gets back she ends up taking one of the missing animal case missing mammal cases because one of the family members came up looking for you know one of them or whatnot but she only has 48 hours to find him or else she's off the force because nobody really want nobody really wants her there not even not even the chief who's actually played by Idris Alba. Just, you know, just, yeah. So, they find a picture of him, like his last known location, which was buying one of the popsicles from Nick. So she tracks him down, pretty much blackmails him with a recording of tax evasion to help her find the missing mammal 
and this is where you get into the DMV part to the trailer eventually they run into like the mob boss Mr. Big because they find out that you know something was going they were finding out more and more about the conspiracy and it turned out earlier in one of Judy's cases she saved the mob boss's daughter so they're all they're on friendly terms with them and they get a little bit more information which leads them to the next suspect who was one of the drivers who was driving the person that Judy's trying to find, Judy and Nick are trying to find. Which, when he's about to let them in, he goes savage for some reason. So, like, all the missing mammals have gone savage, pretty much. That's what, that's what's been going on. So, you know, they get away, they, she handcuffed him, but by the time the cops arrived that he was gone, and the chief was demanding Judy's badge, but Nick surprisingly stuck up for her. And this is when we get a little bit more into Nick's backstory, which he wanted to be a scout, but that didn't go so well because the prey who don't like predators didn't want him to be there, so they put a muzzle on him and pretty much just like ran him out. So, he pretty much told Judy, I tried to be something that I wanted to be, but because I can't, I'm just going to be what people expect me to be. And he tells her, you never let them see you, you know, see that they got to you or whatnot. Yeah, pretty deep stuff. So, Judy and, Judy and Nick have some common ground about their childhoods growing up. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Just, I guess, Judy chose a different path rather than Nick. They eventually do find the missing, the missing mammals from their lead, um, from the, uh, assistant to the mayor of Zootopia. And that leads them to this facility where they're keeping all the missing mammals that have gone savage there. And it turns out that the mayor knew about it, so he's arrested, and, you know, they're trying to figure out still what's going on with the missing mammals, but the mayor is saying that we were keeping them imprisoned so that they, they could figure out what was going on with them before they released it to the press. Now, this is the big issue with the press conference between Judy and Nick's relationship, which has gotten a lot good. She actually wanted him to be her new partner for policing in the ZPD. But during the press conference, it turns out she actually doesn't have all the information that would make it for a good press conference. And she says she's making so many mistakes saying that, you know, it has something to do with the predators, you know, it's always it's only the predators that are going savage and it might have something to do with their biology biology, you know, their DNA and to, I guess Nick's surprise you know, she's he was pretty much like what were you saying? It's only us that are going savage and she, he asked her straight up, are you afraid of me? Because he had noticed a fox repellent that her parents had gave her back in the beginning of the movie. He noticed that the whole time they first met her. And, you know, he placates, you know, charging at her. And she backs up and takes her, is going for the fox repellent. And it just, I guess it broke him again that he opened up to... There's one person who thought he could be, you know, something else, but she still has the same mentality as everybody else. So, pretty much there's a lot of protests about the prey and the predators going on, and Judy can't handle it, so she, you know, she quits because she, she knows she must, she knows she messed up. 
Well, it turns out, while she was working on her family's farm, that there's these specific plants that actually make people, make the animals go savage. So she runs back to Zootopia to try to tell Nick and convince him she finds his partner Finnick. And he tells her where he is and she like apologizes, starts crying, she's calling herself, she's like, I'm nothing but a dumb bunny. Which is repeated because Nick still has the recording, the recorder pen that she gave to him a while back. And you know, they make up and he forgives her. They find out that it's actually the deputy mayor that was doing all that, the sheep, um, Miss Bellwether. And, you know, they put a stop to her. You know, they they hustle her, essentially, which is, like, the big thing. And they use the recording character to pretty much catch her in the act, as Nick was acting like he went savage to attack Judy. And then Zootopia is saved, and at the end of the movie, you see that Nick did join the police force, and... Him and Judy are partners. And that's Zootopia in a nutshell for you guys. I actually really thought this movie was very... It was very deep. Has really good themes. It, some parts might be too scary for... Might be too scary for kids. Because you're dealing with, you know, animals attacking people at some point. Or just like some jump scares. But in all, it's a really good movie. I highly recommend it. Um... I'm going to give it minor review. I'm going to give it like a 10 out of 10. That's just, you know, my opinion. It's a really great movie. I actually look forward, look forward to seeing it again. And I will see you guys with the next movie review. Later, guys. A product of the Nerd Element.